Good morning. Thank you for joining us for Mass today. The Entrance Antiphon. Sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great, for now salvation and strength have come, and the power of his Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us together turn to our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. And as we first call to mind our sins, so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are risen from the grave. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You raise us to new life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who opened wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing, that in your kindness you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You've received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. 
you hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The crowd said to Jesus, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may remember, as I mentioned the other day, our Gospel over the next several days is coming from the sixth chapter of John's Gospel, often referred to as the Bread of Life Discourse, for reasons that we understand more clearly today. Jesus says, I am the Bread of Life. Now what Jesus is doing is he's taking the people from a place that they can relate to an experience, namely what God did through Moses when he gave his people manna in the desert, truly a, a miraculous bread that came down from heaven and appeared, as we hear in the scriptures, like hoarfrost on the desert floor that the Israelites would harvest each morning. He's taking that experience that they understand, and he's trying to draw them to a place that is beyond their realm of understanding, but ultimately requires faith. We're at this intermediate stage now where Jesus is linking the past and the reality of the present, who he really is, the Son of God come down from heaven, who is given to the world as our sustenance, our salvation, and our spiritual food. Jesus is the bread of life. And he says, whoever comes to him will never hunger, and whoever believes in him will never thirst. He's not at the eating stage yet, which we'll see in the days to come, but right now he's in the belief stage of things. First, we have to come to him, and believe in him before we can truly receive him in the Eucharist. In this time when we're unable to receive Holy Communion, it would do us well to really focus on this intermediate stage of really focusing on presenting ourselves to Jesus as we're celebrating this Mass, and for that matter as we're going throughout the day to really come to him and to really believe in him. What does that mean to believe in Jesus? Well, it means more than intellectual assent. It means more than holding him even in our hearts. 
Both of those are necessary, but it transcends what we know and what we hold dear to even how we live our lives, to obedience. The Lord calls us, commands us, to come to him, to believe in him. So we ask for that grace today, a truly supernatural gift of belief that Jesus is the Savior of the world, that he has given himself for the life of the world, and he calls us to deeper belief in him and what he can do each and every day through our lives because of faith in him. God bless you. My friends, through the intercession of St. Stephen, who prayed for his murderers even as he died, let us now offer our petitions to our merciful Father. Our response to each of the following is, Lord, hear our prayer. St. Stephen preached the word of God without fear. Lord, fill all your people with his fidelity and zeal for the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. St. Stephen prayed that his tormentors might be forgiven. Lord, inspire us with the true spirit of forgiveness in this season of Easter joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. St. Stephen lived that mystery of Christ to the very end. Lord, lead all your people through death to life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, and for Samuel J. Shikitano, whom we pray for in a special way at this Mass today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own needs and intentions that we now recall in our hearts. And in a special way for every need in regard to the unfolding pandemic and for grace in return to a normal in our society and in our church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, you inspired in St. Stephen a love for Christ that shaped his life according to the pattern sent set by his master. Grant us that same love, fidelity, and true discipleship as we too seek to live the mystery of Easter through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church.
Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Communion Antiphon If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a good day.